Hey everybody, this is Greg with Year of the Dad Gaming. Today we're going to capture a dragon. Um, you're going to need some chain restraint bullets, at least four of them, to capture a dragon. But I fully recommend that you create a whole bunch more. Um, you're going to see here in a second as I quit mine that there's, I've got a lot because I plan on capturing some more enemies after this. They can get destroyed. Um, so you're just going to make sure you kind of set them up in a circle that you want to capture the enemy. Um, as you knock down his health, you can fire them on the enemy. So make sure as you're uh, setting them up that you've kind of got a level playing field with this nice flat spot. I'm going to knock down his health a little bit. Got to get him down to the low red to capture him, even using the chain restraint bullets. Um, so this level, dragon's a little bit lower level than me, so it shouldn't take too much here. Uh, it doesn't really matter once you capture them and tame them, they go back to level one. So, you know, capturing a lower level dragon isn't, you know, the worst idea here. All right, so I got him down, I'm firing my chain, I got four on him, and now you can see the little lock symbol, so that means that he's ready for me to throw a monster prism at him. And there you go, through the monster prism, and bingo, got him on the first shot. That's awesome. Um, so you see it, it wasn't that difficult, especially if you're higher level, to go after a lower level dragon. Oh, look, another one spawned. Um, I'll just go ahead and capture this one too. Um, let's get his health knocked down a little bit. Go get the chains set up before I do that. So I know where I need to get him to finish this off. Oh, clicked the wrong button a couple times. Let's set up a couple of these. Switch weapons, of course he's going to be in attack, so I can't switch right now. And as always, an auto-save in the middle of the boss battle helps. And sometimes he wanders outside of my circle where I want him to be, so I just kind of throw some weapons at him to draw him back in. Yo, he's getting a little closer. He might be close enough now. I'm not exactly sure the distance those chain restraint bullets will fire. Um, but we'll knock his health down here pretty good. Still too high, so... Getting a little lower. A little bit lower, he's in the yellow. Getting close. Get, there we go. Now he's in the red. He's gonna fire him again. And still not locked in. Oh, that one missed. Fire it again. There we go. Now he's locked in again. Fire another one that doesn't really need necessary. Throw the monster prison at him. Oh, and he got out. So you can see there that some of my uh, chain restraint bullets uh, disappeared. So that's why it's good to bring extra if that happens, if you don't get them on the first shot. So now I've got to deploy some more and uh, try this again. And you know, you just got to restrain him again if he breaks free, because if he does again the monster prison, he'll break free of the chain restraints. So you'll have to shoot him again. Here, I'm trying to get him tied down so I can shoot some more. I'm about to die here, so heal real quick. And there we go. Locked in again. Hopefully this time it works. There we go. Got yeah, so now I have two dragons. Um, the, so that's how you capture a dragon. Um, if you found this helpful, then give us a like and a subscribe. And thanks for watching.